ladies and gentlemen, may I present the sixth president of Delta State University, Dr. David Potter, and our new first lady, Pam Matthews. It's a great thrill for Pam and me to be here again. Seems like it was only 24 hours ago. <laughs> so much has happened. Uh, we just felt so blessed, really, to uh, have this opportunity. And when we came here for, for a day and a half, you all treated us so well that we just knew it was the right place for us. And we uh, were on pins and needles for a long time, and uh, I sat by the phone for a good hour. <laughs> I wonder how long it would take to to get the word, and when I did, I was just so thrilled, I, I couldn't, uh, couldn't figure out what to do next. So I called Pam and Jackson, and we celebrated over the, over the wire. So thank you all again, and uh, I, I don't know what the agenda is after this, but uh, this is uh, more than uh, I could ever ask for. Any thanks. Welcome. exciting time for higher education. There, there are lots of changes in the wind. And I think Delta State is uh, really well poised to take advantage of those changes and make them opportunities rather than just challenges. What I'd like to do is really build on a great legacy here. Dr. Wyatt has, has given this institution strong leadership and, and built a wonderful foundation. And so I'm going to try to do as much as I can to continue that. And that, to me, means very strong academic programs, both at the undergraduate level and post-baccalaureate level. It means a very close relationship with this community, counting on it and hopefully contributing to it. I hope it means that we'll, we'll look at some innovations in, in, in higher education that we can take advantage of to strengthen student learning, which is really what we're all about in the end. And we're going to count on everybody helping to, to fulfill that mission. And all together, I know that we can make this institution even greater than it is today, and make it a national landmark for higher education. That's what our goal is. Uh, is there a date firm yet uh, when you will be on campus and uh, assume the goal full time? Hoping to be here by July 1st. And, uh, I think that's possible in terms of making the transition out of George Mason University. And, um, but I'll try to come down as much as I can in the interim to, and study hard so I can get to understand what, what all the challenges are going to be. What will your uh, initial goals be during the uh, transition period? What would you like to accomplish during the fall semester? First thing I want to do is learn a lot. And coming into a, a new culture, uh, coming into a place that has a, a lot of tradition, has a lot of pride in, in its heritage, I want to begin to understand that fully and, and make it part of my life. Uh, I want to reach out and become a citizen of this community uh, to understand what the students perceptions of the world are and what their concerns and needs are, what the faculty's role in the university is and how they think about that role and what we can do to support their professional growth and development, uh, what we can do to ensure that the, that the community uh, helps us understand what its needs are and find ways to connect to that community as quickly as possible. As soon as I can get on his calendar, I'll be there. <laughs> How do you plan to uh, make uh, Delta State more visible around the region, around the nation, most specifically? 
We're going to look to you to help us on that, Amy. <laughs> take some of the strengths that, that are here at Delta State but may not be as well known around the, around the region, around the country, and, and be an ambassador for the institution. You know, one of the things I've tried very hard to do in my current role is, is stay engaged with the, uh, the national associations that are really on the forefront of higher education. And from that experience I know that the institutions that are active in that national association are ones that, that fit a lot of the characteristics that Delta State has. They're institutions that are really attentive to learning and to trying to contribute new ways of thinking about learning. They're institutions that are, that are very interactive and, and uh, responsive to their communities. And then there's a lot to be learned and shared among those institutions. And I, I would like to take the message of Delta State and the insights that you all have developed and how to do this well here and, and make them visible in those associations as well. And in doing so, hopefully uh, attract some foundation support to, uh, to do some of the things that we need to do to take that next measure of excellence. Yeah, one, one of the reasons I'm here actually is that, that the tremendous success this program has achieved. I'm really looking forward to being a, an enthusiastic spectator of, uh, of all these sports that are here. 26-5 uh, and five in women's basketball last year and the coach told me it's going to be better this year. So I'll be, I'll be really interested in following uh, But certainly th there's a great legacy to build on there, and I'd really like to uh, encourage that legacy, encourage stronger fan uh, involvement in that legacy, uh, find ways to really support the athletic program in a, in a very tangible way, as well as in terms of the spirit uh, of the institution behind it. Um, so interest, I know, uh, among a couple people I've talked to about maybe adding some sports that might strengthen the scholar-athlete uh, contributions to the institution. Take a look at that if we can. Uh, but I, I think it will just be a great part of our lives. If you can get here next weekend, baseball team will be playing. <laughs> good advice, so uh, if anyone has it, today is when I start to need it. <laughs> Looks like a lot of students here, is that correct? Well, that's really nice for you all to come out. Thanks for doing that. Yeah. I'm sorry? In town today? Uh, this weekend? You know, I haven't even talked to people who have made the arrangements. Yet. <laughs> I think we're here, uh, I hope we're here through graduation, get a chance to come to that if, if, if if we're invited, <laughs> and, uh, and pro probably go back to Jackson late Saturday, or, unless there are other plans. Um, what do you think? <laughs> this is your schedule. <laughs> is that okay? Whatever you say. Uh, <laughs> Famous for his disciplined approach to scheduling. Uh, uh, well, I think we want to do a little Mother's Day uh, Sunday morning, right, in Jackson. So uh, that'll culminate the weekend. Yeah. Dr. Potter is the SGA president coming up this next year. Uh, we as students are happy that you're here. Um, if there's anything that we can do while you're here this weekend, just let us know. We're pumped that you're here and we're excited about you being here. That's great. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that support. Any others? Well, you're very kind to come on a beautiful day like this and take time out to, uh, to make us feel welcome. We are truly honored to have this privilege, and we hope and pray that we'll, we'll live up to every confidence you've placed in us. We'll certainly devote every ounce of energy we have to doing that, and we'll count on you to, to help us to accomplish whatever we can. Thank you very, very much.
Oh, oh, oh.